Hello and welcome to Triclaw Gaming with me, Dean. And this time you have me, Fletcher, along for the ride as well. Yes, he shall be my co-pilot and shall constantly be a reminder of how terrible I am at this game called Enter the Gungeon. Actually, he's rather good, but I'm here to give co-commentary as well because we think uh, that'll be more interesting. No, interesting is not interesting anymore, Fletcher. Don't you know anything? You might wa you might want to explain what you're doing, by the way. Uh, <laughs> that was I. I'm sorry. That was habit. <laughs> right. So he's already picked. He's picked the character pilot. Hello. Um. What does pilot come with as standard? Uh, pilot comes with standard. Looking at my Amazon con. He comes with a starting pistol. Rogue special. He comes with a paperclip, who can has a fifty percent chance to lockpick any lock. Discount at shops and as a passive, and also has the space for more ammo and an extra active item, so we can have two instead of one. Useful. Yes, yes, it is. You haven't even. Perhaps we should explain what sort of game Gungeon actually is. If me playing the but game. Gungeon but... is a roguelike dungeon crawler. Um similar to games like Fast and Light and in fact Hades and in fact Hades you just died didn't you <laughs> <laughs> that's one of that's one of many deaths that will be happening I can't die I'm immortal See? right well get on with it oh damn you into the gungeon then it's almost like we're going to enter the gungeon I will kill I'll you for that. that. <laughs> Keep up the lead, Lord. What pilot has an energy gun? Uh, what the future? Is he supposed to be hand solo? Yeah. The range on this gun is so. Bad compared to the hunter, huntress. Guns actually have a range in this game, surprisingly. Okay, so it should be noted that every monster in Gungeon is essentially a bullet or related to bullets. Hence the uh, giant shotgun cartridges armed with shotguns firing shotgun shells. Or the bullet bats. Or the bullet bats, yes. Ooh, that was... Ah, that was rude! No, it wasn't. It was normal. This guy is just a... Uh... Uh, I believe his name is a Gunzerker? I can't remember the flight name. You did not see the Mafia Ghost. The Mafia Ghost can't hurt you. And that's a rubber bullet. Rubber bullets. On the first level, they can't hurt you. <gasps> Chest! And a good one as well. Magic Sweet. Free stats. I don't know what it does. It improves health, health movement, movement, speed, and damage. Damage! So basically, things you can pick up in chests and such will give you sometimes passive buffs, sometimes buffs you can activate. <laughs> Just that, oh! As you exploded them across the, across the carpet. I like killing with explosions. Sorry, you were saying, Fletcher, about passive buffs and active buffs. Well, I <laughs> murder the denizens of floor one. Okay, that, that, that was just like why grenades should not be kept near explosive barrels. Fletcher! What? You were talking about passive and active items and started laughing. All oh, right. Well, it should be noted that when I have the headphones on, I can't actually hear what you're saying. So. No. So there are lots of items you can pick up in the game, um, and lots of guns as well. Um, many, many guns. Many, many guns. Uh, we're play. Vi um, Dane has played quite a lot of this game already. I forgot who you were there for a second. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that my uh, my personality is so 2D that you forgot who I was. 
Oh, what? It, was that a pun at the fact that the Pokemon game he is playing is a 2D isometric game? No. Oh, that's disappointing. Why does that bullet have a Muche Libra mask? I don't know, it's the first time I've actually seen it. That's a first. Huh. 200 runs into this game, but I have never seen that. Yes, yeah, so Dane has played quite a lot of dungeons, so he has quite a lot of stuff already unlocked. I used to play um, this for fun. No, he used to play it because I would bug him to play it so I could watch him play it because watching him play it is is uh, a joy. Not a joy. It's yes, it is. It's it's good to see you play. Oh boy! Explosions. Oh dear. Yeah, it has a likelihood to not work. Oh, is that bag in? Oh no, it's not Junkin it's, yet. It's not Sir Junkin. Anyone who's played Dungeon will know what Sir Junkin is. Uh, whenever you get destroy a chest, you occasionally get uh, trash items called junk. Um, one of them could be uh, a companion called Sir Junkin, and he levels up with the amount of junk that you have on you. Although it's very difficult to actually get him leveled up to any decent level, considering most of the chests you run into will be pain ridden. I lost where I was, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the first floor I've already lost. <laughs> ah, right, boss room is there. I, I don't have a weapon. <laughs> I you, haven't, you haven't found any new guns yet, have you? Um, right, so automatically generated chests on every floor, there'll be one or there'll be two at least. How they work is one will always have a passive item, one will always have an active item. Pox cannon? Uh, the. Lousy. Oh, it's a t-shirt cannon, I see. See, part of the joy of Enter the Gungeon is figuring out what game or film they're referencing with some of the weapons in this game. Yeah. As I was saying, every chest on the floor will have either a passive or an active item in it. So the one I found up here was the A-level chest, which was the red chest, which had the sweet in it, uh, the little sweet down here. And that's a passive item. So that means the other chest on the floor was guaranteed to have an active item, uh, would have a gun or an active item in it. Actually, no, not even an active item, it would just be a gun. And because I failed to open that one, we did not get a new gun. But I got the Pox Cannon, so everyone can enjoy it. Right, so who could it be? Oh, well, uh, we have no choice. the Bullet Twins, which is uh, King Bullet or Gatling Gun. We have the Bullet Twins. The Twins. The Trigger Twins. Smiley and I, can't I assume they're supposed to be. Um, um, I assume they're supposed to be. Finish your sentence. Oh, I can't vote. There. <laughs> I am keeping that in, by the way. Um, I assume they're supposed to be um, meant to be the. Like, uh, I've forgotten who they are now. The American gangsters. Um, Bonnie and Clyde, or something like that. But All I the Craze wins if you're British. I know one's called Smiler and the other one's called Shields. It's just a load of. <laughs> They're poisoned, by the way. Poisonous t shirts. Yep, and I cleared that flawlessly, so I get this, which is the Master Chamber. The Master Round, even. The Master Round for completing it without being hit. And what's the gun? The gun. Is it combined rifle? Half life. Ah ha ha of lives. Ah ha 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 ha. I'm disappointed. Oh, hang on. Fire it for a minute. Ah, uh, it's supposed to be the Half Life 2 energy rifle. And then. Yes, that's why it has the bouncy orb thing. Because in Half Life 2, if anyone touches it, they get vaporized. Yeah. I have health. I used to love the OCR, uh, the Overwatch pulse rifle. It made such a wicked noise. <laughs> 
By that, he doesn't mean the pulse rifle from Overwatch. He means the Overwatch pulse rifle, the name of the gun. From Half-Life 2. Yes. I have never played Overwatch, nor will I ever play it. Well, I now know what I have to do. You will never play Overwatch either, if you know what's good for you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm about to have a lot less health than I did originally. Ah, here's some history facts for you. This is an enemy based on the torture device known as the Iron Maiden. His name is also the Iron Maiden! The name is also the Iron Maiden. Um, it's a horrific torture device, basically full of spikes, which once you were put inside, people outside, I think it was the Spanish Inquisition, wasn't it? There's also no... Who invented it? Ooh! Oh, there we go! One vaporized bullet! <laughs> I don't think you realize. I got a double kill there <laughs> These are sniper bullets, naturally. But, um, I'm loving this gun. There was no actual evidence that the Iron Meter was ever used. <laughs> you just vaporized it instantly. And that one. Oh god, those those poor. Double kill. No, double kill. You can do the Unreal Tournament voice better than I can. It's disappointing since I played the original. I was just kind of thinking of. It wasn't so much Unreal Tournament, it was. Uh... Oh god. Healer. Ugh. Yes, but it was started in Unreal Tournament 1. I'm showing my age. Oof. That's the executioner. <laughs> oh, that one literally spawned in and then you vaporized him instantly. That poor bullet. God, what was that like? He, he... When first, have you ever felt sorry for my enemy? That poor bullet, you know, first day on the job, I'm going to be a bullet in the dungeon, I'm going to stop people- Gungeon! Peop Gungeon, I'm gonna stop people stealing stuff! He spawns in and is literally vaporized by an energy orb fired at random. I feel like this requires a scene like you had it from the Austin Powers movie, where the wife and son of the b bullet you've just vaporized get told how their loving father has just died. Oh, don't worry, I'm coming for them next. No one ever thinks of the henchmen in these games. What is this room? It's an extra shop room. Yes, the T-Rex skeleton is a gun, right? Yep, it yes. is a beam gun, actually. Mm. There's also the monster blood here. Seeing that we have a very poison-heavy build so far, I'm gonna save up for that. Uh, where should I go? I'm gonna go down here. Avoiding the big boss room looking area. <laughs> Avoiding the big boss room looking area. Is it a case of, like, that boss fight, <laughs> this boss fight uh, oncoming looks easy. Then the Latin music starts. The Latin music has vocab. <laughs> well, yes, most music does have vocab. Scared, oh, scared I... face. <laughs> you're giving, you're giving bullets metal poisoning. That's. I mean, I did it with the triggers when you said nothing, so... Well, no, I kind of missed that. I was too busy explaining stuff for the audience. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm not busy doing anything. Nothing at all. Not doing anything at all, am I, Fletcher? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're certainly not killing these bullets. Although that di that dynamite is like <laughs> it's like a dog being trapped behind a staircase. <laughs> Only it can't jump over it. While 
I'm doing this, I'm actually just trying to remember what bosses can actually appear on this floor. Uh, is any Gatling Gull? Gatling Gull can't appear on this floor. Is Gatling Gull a floor one? Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna use a key because I have them. <gasps> You've got oh, Thanos' no. gauntlet. No, it's not, it's not. Okay, mind explaining to the audience what this is? This is the gun I or uh, it's a gun knight gauntlet. Basically, every floor I'll get one piece of armor. Armor basically stops you from taking damage from your health. It also causes the blank effect, which is the one which removes all bullet on screens to appear. I used it in the first fight. However, it gives you another stat called Curse. Curse means that you can get jammed enemies. The joke being about jammed guns. They're about three times more powerful than normal enemies. And it can happen to bosses. I'm taking it anyway. He's taking. He's taking. He's taking. Ooh. Oh. oh no no no! You only get the curse whenever the full set's done. Whoops! There's my knowledge being bad. <laughs> we should note for the audience, for those who haven't played Gungeon, so there are these things called blanks. You'll see them in the top uh, left-hand corner with the. Uh, they're the blue guns. They're um, shells. Blue shells, sorry. It's almost like they're blank bullets. Yes, they're blank bullets. Essentially, what it, what they'll do is they will remove every enemy bullet off the uh, off the screen for you, um, should you use them. So they're a sort of get out of jail for free card, but you are limited in how many you have. Unless you um, pick more up. On the floor. Unless you pick more up on the floor. But basically, they're they sh you sh you should only use them if you absolutely ne necessity to use them. Necessary. Um, You'll also see in the top left his health bar, which is the bar at the top. Uh, and, and in the top left you see his health bar, which is the bar at the top. The number, <laughs> the number of keys and his current currency in the form of empty shell cans. And you've just vaporized. <laughs> I'm loving this pose, right? I, I loved it in Half-Life 2, and I love it in this game. Noises they make. It's the surprise. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> That's a curse canister. Oh dear, he he was struck there. So yeah, one okay. his special blank that he got. No, my armor. Armor. It's sorry. Armor. His armor uh, disappeared. I'll get it back next door. There's number two. Oh, one. No, please be aware we do not condone violence on. We don't. Uh, we don't condone violence, do we? Even though we're laughing at the fact that we're killing bullets, we don't but, condone violence. But, but. I'm, I'm making this very clear for YouTube, but in-game murder. In-game murder. Monster, what's monster blood do? It increases your health bar by one, as right. you'll see. It also makes you immune to poison. Right. Considering I have a poison weapon, that's quite nice. Oh, uh, Medusa can be on floor too. Gundusa, or whatever her name is. Gorgon. Gorgon, that's the one. It can be the Gorgon, it can be the Holster, or it can be Amoconda. This Ooh, is a sub boss. So I don't we've like got the sub -boss. sub boss here, which looks like a Mario uh, Mario Land in. Also, that happens whenever I have multiple blood after. Oh no! I hate this boss for this very reason. I normally always die whenever he comes out. I think this is uh, meant to be a parody of like what Bowser Jr. does in advice. Well, the the swirly bomb um, machine thing is a bit of a parody of what Bowser sometimes flies around in. You blew him up instead of vaporizing him. Yes, because bosses don't allow you to. One Health, one blank, one currency, gun. and a chest. Ooh. The shotgun. The it's a plague, plague pistol. pistol. Chemical warfare. I think we're getting the. Pandemic pistol! 
Let's. That's that's it. That's it. If this was going to be monetized, that would have been it. Demonetized right there, Mr. Pandemic Fiscal. Hear what I was about to say. So this is a, a chemical gun run or a poison gun run. No, you go full on there with the plague pistol. Pandemic but pistol. That's what the synergy is called. So synergies are um, particular item sets, similar to. That was, that was annoying. Similar to um, some RPGs and MMOs where you have sort of sets of armor and weapons. Um, synergy is the same thing, where particular items and guns will interact to improve their effects. The Ooh, holster! The holster! D&D fans, beware. Basically, it has a lot of different guns. Watch out for the rockets. No, I thought I was going to run into those. Oh, and the beam attack. Watch out for the beam attack. Yeah, it doesn't really help when you come out. Just come out of an attack and that happens. A roll, even. It's like what happens when a Karen asks to see the manager. Is that a gun that fires other guns? It's a bullet that fires guns. <laughs> it's a bullet that fires guns. Ah, I really don't like the way that one dies. It reminds me of... Uh, Dungeon Eagle. Very nice. So, am I allowed to use the pistol? You can, the just don't call it the pandemic the pistol. The synergy is pandemic pistol, though. I know, but you know I'm how assuming YouTube's that, got an I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that that would mean that the poison damage is increased. Oh. <laughs> it's bouncing around like that orb. <laughs> <laughs> Which we can't choose at the moment. Oh no, we've run out of ammo for the pulse gun. That was the other problem with it in Half-Life 2 actually. You'd rinse through your ammunition supply very fast. Oh my lord. Is that one of those totem orbs? Yep. This is the first time that Dane has played Gungeon, Enter the Gungeon, in uh, over, half a year. over half a year, and he's already to floor two, three. three, doing quite well. Although I would say his weapons are pretty meh. Really? We have to clarify that as a, we don't we do not have anything against uh, dwarves. We don't have anything against people who are dwarves. I personally ha uh, don't like the elves, frankly. I've always seen the dwarves as like more interesting people to know. I mean, they seem they always seem to spend their time making machines and getting drunk and having parties, whereas the elves just walk around, well, overly dramatically reacting to everything and trying to make themselves out to be godlike. Stop being ah! I'm not sure barring like a sheep at fungi is gonna work. Well the fungi is the I got the heat wrong. No, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure we're allowed to say things like that on YouTube either. If it's satire, it's like it. 
Yes, but this is you. Where sometimes half the things you say are truthful and sometimes half the things you say are satire. Most days I tend to try to figure out where, whether you're being satirical or whether you're being truthful. A gas mask. Gas mask. Breathe deep. deep. Which, which combines. And I have two of them on there. Super serum. Let it be known, I have no idea what that does. The mask or the super serum. Uh, what does the mask do? Prevents poison damage, so it does the same thing as this. A useful, if terrifying, piece of equipment. Sounds like a lot of the things I have in your RPG. Yes. I think this increases the potency of poison damage. Oh, it makes my ball bigger. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to leave that in or not. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll leave it in just for the lulls. That's right, folks. The <laughs> new synergy that Dane has got just makes his poisonous balls bigger. The fact you're laughing at that just proves what sort of mind you have. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. Oh, really? Oh, fudge. Fudge. <laughs> yes, a lot of fudge. All the fudge. Let's not let Master Hand touch me. No. A lot of pistols this round as well, aren't you? Yeah. Excellent. More ammunition for the uh, plague pistol. Not plague pistol. <laughs> <sighs> I like Pokemon. They say their names and if they're released. It does remind me of a gun that used to be in... Well, it's actually in every Unreal Tournament game, I think. Which was the Bio Pistol. Or bio Gun. Basically, it was a pistol that would just splurge poisonous orbs everywhere. Want to, you know... Get any more to what I'm actually using? Yeah. Oh, o only... Some. Only in Unreal Tournament there was a secondary fire where you could uh, fire off an extra large splurge of poisonous material, which if it struck someone would immediately make them explode and then it would burst. It wasn't particularly good in Unreal Tournament 1, but in later Unreal Tournaments, especially Unreal Tournament 3, it's very, very good. Thou hasn't done well to amuse us. That's hast. Oh, hast done well to amuse us. Speaketh with me in the breach at which hour thou hasn't a mo hast a moment to do. I'm messing this up. I'm no Shakespearean, Speaketh am I? In the breach at which thou hour thou hast a moment to do so. For now, For now though, we put forth that a knave such as thee could never clear this forthcoming room, using now to put this Casey. Cassidy. Oh, I see. Prove thee can, and we will reward thee handsomely. In return, we shout hast from thee twenty-one, as thou part of the wager. Prevail, and I shall return it. Ha, a pauper as well! <laughs> return! <laughs> I have to go this way. We cannot afford the bet. 
I can't afford to bet on my own skill. I don't think I can poison the Ike as he got. The Ike as a Hadron is immune to the poisoning. It deserves to go to dice jail. <laughs> go to dice jail. <laughs> we need a dice jail for some of those rolls that you uh, uh, you've had lately. Should I lockpick this or should I try lockpicking it? You right. For those of you who are a bit confused as to why there was a sudden cut there. Uh, when the lockpicking attempt failed and broke the lock of the chest, Dane made or called me something equivalent to referring to an individual, you know, a woman of the night, I think is, an, is a one way of putting it. So, what that airline bill? Technically, he's supposed to be Han Solo. Yes. He doesn't operate an airline. I know, I said this. You're the one who... I told you this! You just went so about that airline food. Well, I'm using poison, so he pretty much is an air hostess. <laughs> Actually, that could be something we ask our washers. Uh, comment in the comment section below if you have been on a, a flight and uh, Comment, what, what, what was the food on that flight like? Was it really as bad as everyone says? Because oh, I have never been on, a, on an aircraft, haven't been on a flight out of the UK, so... Um, I'm curious to know if the, the rumours about food on aircraft being terrible is actually true. Oh, it's the mind Oh, player. the mind player. Better than Trent. Oh, this is the cannon barrel roll. Cannon barrel roll, sorry. I wonder if anyone can guess what this is a reference to. Yes. Guesses in the comments below what Canon Balrog is a reference. Shame we don't have Gandalf to uh, <laughs> distract the enemy and then steal all the experience for killing the enemy and then come back with a shiny new cloak. Oh, no, no, no. You. <laughs> stealing all the experience for killing the enemy. <laughs> 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 okay, whatever happens in the uh, in my RPG I run, which is like Dungeons and Dragons. Just the fact that you didn't get to kill the enemy bad guy and get the cash, it's not my fault. Yeah, I didn't want the cash, I want the experience. You leveled up. Eventually. Eventually. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just dodge rolled into him. Eventually it's difficult for me to see him. Yes, sir. Also, I can't tell the difference. Uh, Dane is uh, colorblind, unfortunately. <laughs> Especially in the spectrum of red. Is in the spectrum of red, but also grey and black can sort of merge together. Oh my really. lord, don't die, 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 die. He's down to one. You shall not pass, Barog. What's that? What gun come? did you just pick up? Dueling laser! Oh, right, so the dueling laser is. <laughs> It's based on a weapon we see in the one of the future armor episodes, <laughs> where uh, Bender and Kankulon uh, have a duel, and the dueling Bender fires his dueling laser wildly, and it carves basically a massive <laughs> gash through all the buildings in New New York. <laughs> this is one of the guns of the game, which you need to do damage to other guns to be able to fire. Ah, I see. So. You it's it's refueled by causing damage. Well, technically, most active items do the same thing. Right. Although this one's usually a one-hit kill. This is floor four. Yeah, we're in the house. And you're down to one health. One health. <laughs> spider is, yeah, Vice does not like spiders, folks. Uh, Almost like a huge us, I just heard him start speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Two of you! I'm not afraid of any ghosts! Who are you gonna call? Me. Dane, as it happens. Apparently, I can poison ghosts. Oh, 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 oh. How did you 
survive that. Okay, that, that's still funny. It's still funny. It, it doesn't matter how many times I see it happen, it's still funny. Could have been unfortunate. Oh. It was unfortunate. Next to kill me. Ah, uh, Tony. You are out of here. Look how much you picked up as well. That's not a lot. That's really not a lot. That's Killed by High Gunjurer. High Summoner, basically. High Summoner. Hmm. It's a conjurer, but it's yes, a I, I know a conjurer. Yes. yes. Okay, next one. Okay. Fifty-two okay. runs. Because uh, obviously, once it's cut down, it'll be marine pilots, huntress, convict. Ah! Yeah, I'll cut that out. Potato is the com as the conflict convict. Conflict? There's some conflict here. There is some conflict with this conflict. So she has uh, a budget revolver, a sawed off shotgun, a molotov, and every time she takes damage, she gets enraged, which makes her do more damage. It's a picture of her mafia boss. Yes. I ah. Speak to him. Ah, young slinger. The young singer. Thou uh, hast brought me much amusement. Allow of it nev best said that I'm not a generous person. Patron, we have donated this tinker to the uh, acquisitions department on my behalf. And now we we'll belong, belong, slinger. Ah, owl is unlocked. Is that just another bad guy? No. <laughs> the owl. Just owls of this world. It's a companion. I will keep that pun in. And then everyone who watches this video will know how terrible that was. That's the point. <laughs> you just got rid of that bullet Hitman style. <laughs> Yes, Hitman style. Ah, oh, yes, this is supposed to be Link. this floor. Eh. I need to remember what these guys' names are. For now you shall be named Paul. <laughs> Paul? <laughs> You've killed Paul! I know, right? Terrible. I just realised I haven't used my Molotov yet. No, you haven't used your Molotov yet. No one's seen it. It take a while for me, it requires me to have alcohol spare. I mean... See, here we go. At this point, people like Pixel would be yelling at me on Fallout 4 to throw nuclear grenades the minute I pick one up. I just ignore them. Ooh! Ooh. Heart of Ice! That's cold. I never loved you. <laughs> That's okay. 
Um, it basically, whenever I get damaged, it shoots off ice um, projectiles, which will freeze enemies, which slow down their firing and their gun speed and their movement, and will give me an extra heart. So basically, it's like the poison heart of ice. Nice. That's that's essentially just a uh, equivalent to having armor, isn't it? No. If hi there, uh, it's actually kind of upsetting that I get this convict. But um, if a bullet hits it, it will stop it for me. So if many bullets hit it, it will carve an area out around it. If I take damage, though, it um, how to say shatters, which is why it's called fleeting defense. Oh, I see. So basically, it destroys bullets, but if it, you you get hit, it destroys itself. Yes. Oh. Mr. Accretion Junior, music of the seals. That's a very large gun. This is a S tier weapon. It's bulbous. It's an S tier weapon, though. It's like you're wandering around with a mini nuke on your hand. Well, I'll use it in this next fight. It's the Bullet King. The Bullet King! Oh, right. Yes, this gun fires um, bits of space at you. <laughs> Hence why he's firing Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus. Uranus. And why um, it's creating clouds of nebula. Wax wings, too close to the gun. You can now fly. Yes, I can fall down pits now. Nice. This also means that anything on the floor can hurt me now. Like fire and poison, I can't get set on fire or poisoned anymore. Or the webs, for example. Yep. Which is kind of opposite to how a web is supposed to work, really, isn't it? <laughs> The thing is, Webs are supposed to catch fly things. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice Molotov. That one just literally walks into fire to die. He just wanted to end it Through as quick as he could. to be there really wasn't he he just rolled into view and then exploded right at the feet of his mates Ooh, <laughs> the trap just <laughs> ran over the two bullets <laughs> One thing of the henchmen. <laughs> I do. I think that's how they die. Zane has this uh, awful tendency to forget he has other guns when playing this game. Which is more impressive than anything else. Blow your own horn, why don't you? Oh, the one time I acknowledge I might be good at something <laughs> and I get told off for it. <laughs> yes, I see how life is. Okay, sign me up for a 10 month subscription.
throne. This also makes me levitate, by the way. You <laughs> so now you have double the levitation. Yeah. Oh, and now you can... Ooh! Charge shot. Hold to fire. Um... This is a boss I've never fought before! What the heck? Yeah, it could be the door lord. You've got the door lord? This is the door lord! I've never Hidden fought him! Hidden threat! I've never fought him before! Oh my. I haven't seen this one either. Like I said, I've never fought him before. Well, folks, I think we're going to leave it there for Gungeon for today. But there will be more Gungeon soon with uh, me and Dane, or just Dane, or uh, we'll see how it goes. See what people think of double commentary. I got killed by the sword. You did. You got killed by the door lord. But um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for Tricore Gaming videos. Give. The Pokemon series a look, give my JWE videos a look. It's goodbye from co commentator me. And goodbye from me, Dean. See you later. See ya!